That's what you used to do to me and wake me up as a little girl. There's three of them. Craig, I am going to challenge you. <laughs> so Alice, that wasn't the hardy da, that was me making the hardy da noise. <laughs> Alice, I think, thought that uh, that my call was obviously so magnificent. She thought it was the, actually the hardy da. She said to Craig, Craig, please turn up the ambience so we can sit and listen to the hardy das. <laughs> so thank you, Alice. That was actually the nicest thing that anybody's ever said to me today is that I can make a good hardy da call. Though I don't think the hardy da's were very impressed by that. Now we get different types of hardy da's. One that you can get easily confused by with, uh, with the hardy da ibis is the glossy ibis. But they're slightly more brown in color. And even though they m might be the most annoying birds in South Africa, they're actually quite pretty. Ah. That wasn't me this time, I promise. That was the hardy da that made that noise. But look at the little shimmers of copper and, uh, and bits of sort of emerald green that you get off of, I suppose, iridescence off of the feathers. It's quite beautiful, only when they're standing in the sun. And lovely, and probing, just like we saw that African hoopoo yesterday afternoon, probing and looking for something to eat. The hardy dars are doing exactly the same thing. It's quite nice. Let me see if, uh, if they will respond to me. No, that sounds a little bit go like a go-away bird, a hardy dark cross with a go-away bird. Ha-ha! No. We'll just leave the hardy dark calls to the hardy dars, to the experts. There's not a turtle dove calling in the distance. Oh, I'm communicating with the hardy dars. I could be the hardy dog whisperer. Here it is. One, it's the one at the back that's still calling about. You're just coming off to the left now. Are you worried that your friends were missing you? That's beautiful, isn't it? Look at the green that's shining off of that hardy dog. Yeah, lovely. I hope we get to see another hardy dog nest because that one that was in that massive jackalberry quite close to Twin Dams, that was really lovely to see. Now, we don't know if the chicks survived or if Horsana or Shungile got up in the tree and uh, munched on those little ones, but they were definitely ready to fledge. So maybe it was a combination of leopards encouraging them to fly out of the tree because that nest was quite a mess and I don't think that the birds would have done that. But this could be a little family, who knows? But they are lovely birds. Well, again, just something that we haven't seen for quite some time. It's nice to appreciate even the annoying birds in South Africa. <laughs>